in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 7th of may saturday of the third week of easter on this 7th of may we remember saint rose venerini she was born on february 9 1656 Saint Rose was engaged to be married but joined a convent upon the death of her fiancé shortly thereafter her father also passed away and rose returned home to comfort and care for her mother Rose's spiritual advisor convinced her that her talents would be better spent as a teacher than as a nun. Rose listened to his advice and opened up a free school for girls. Rose was so successful that she was invited by the cardinal to oversee the teachers and schools in the diocese her talents were highly sought after and she was asked to organize schools all over italy after her passing the group of women she had prayed the rosary within her home were given the rank of a religious congregation they became known as the venerini sisters saint rose died on may 7th 1728 in italy the saint rose venerini pray for us my dear friends let's continue our reflection on the gospel reading of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to john chapter 6 verse 60 to 69 At that time when many of the disciples of Jesus heard it they said this is a hard saying who can listen to it but Jesus knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this said to them do you take offense at this Then what if you were to see the son of man ascending to where he was before It is the spirit who gives life The flesh is no help at all The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life But there are some of you who do not believe For Jesus knew from the beginning who those were who did not believe and who it was who would betray him and he said this is why i told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the father after this many of his disciples turned back and no longer walked with him 
So Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Imagine, my dear friends, if you were to ask Peter, what was the most pivotal moment of his life with Jesus? Maybe it was the act of faith we hear or we heard in today's gospel. Or was it when he made the woofing catch of fish after Jesus told him to put down his nets? It could have been when Jesus walked on water and called him to walk toward him. What about when he saw Jesus taken away by the guards to be condemned to death or peered into Jesus' empty tomb? But Peter's life is a story not of one pivotal moment. It's the tale of a growing relationship with Jesus. Every encounter with Jesus deepened that relationship. Peter asked questions, listened to every word Jesus spoke and grew in understanding. He watched the way Jesus related to the people around him and it increased his faith. Even when Jesus ascended to heaven, their relationship did not end. Peter kept praying and Jesus sent him the promised Holy Spirit. Clearly, Peter was not just pursuing pious rules or trying to get on Jesus' good side. He wanted to know Jesus more, like a parent and child or best friends. Their relationship developed and deepened. As Peter learned more about Jesus, he trusted more. As Jesus saw Peter persevere, he revealed more of himself and entrusted more of his work to this fisherman. Then, when Jesus poured out his Holy Spirit on him, Peter was able to move forward in faith, determined to build the kingdom of God. Are pivotal moments important? Yes, but they are not goals in themselves. They help build our relationship with Jesus and encourage us to keep pressing on. But each day, with or without pivotal moments, we deepen our relationship by perceiving him who has the words of eternal life. That's the relationship that Jesus invites us into. Not a series of flashy moments. Maybe not even one big pivotal moment. But a consistent, growing relationship with him. 
that's what deeply affects us so let us not be concerned with seeking out dramatic encounters with jesus just look for him every day and your life will change come lord jesus and deepen my love for you today and every day amen brothers and sisters our psalm selection today begins with the words how can i repay the lord for all his goodness to me this should be a question we ask ourselves every day in fact every minute of every day yet so many people do not ask that question instead they often ask what has god done for me or why has god allowed this terrible thing to happen to me they fail to see that every good flows from god and that god can make good come out of what seems like an apparent negative experience let's pray that psalm now your response how can i repay the lord for all his goodness to me how can i repay the lord for all his goodness to me how can i repay the lord for all his goodness to me the cup of salvation i will raise i will call on the name of the lord how can i repay the lord for all his goodness to me my vows to the lord i will fulfill before all his people how precious in the eyes of the lord is the death of his faithful how can i repay the lord for all his goodness to me your servant lord your servant am i the son of your handmaid you have loosened my bonds a thanksgiving sacrifice i make i will call on the name of the lord how can i repay the lord for all his goodness to me Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Novena prayer to our lady of mount carmel in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Holy mother of god We greet you as queen and mother of Carmel. You were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of the mother of the word incarnate. We dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage. We glorify the Holy Trinity by honoring you, and in our many needs, we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession. Jesus your son was so obedient to you on earth will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf with this trust and unbounded confidence we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your divine son the favors we request in this novena having experienced the efficacy of your prayers we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favor if it is for the glory of god and for our good amen let us pray for our petitions remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection implored thy help and sought thine intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence I fly unto thee O virgin of virgins my mother to thee I come before thee I stand sinful and sorrowful 
O mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in thy mercy hear and answer me amen Our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel pray for us Thanksgiving prayer Holy Mother of God and Queen of Carmel we your children come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude as mother of our spiritual life you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our heavenly father who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures Christ our lord we recognize with deep sentiments of thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession in particular we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapular with faith and love and finally we thank you for answering our prayers in our personal needs We implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we remain faithful to the end to your son our lord jesus christ who is lord forever and ever amen Let's pray for God's blessing May the lord jesus be with you to defend you May he be with you to sustain you May he go before you to show you the way May he follow you to guard you from above may he bless you with the father and the holy spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister We remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially brother James father Vishan Monis both are Carmelites Flavia Sutari from Malad Mumbai Dan Nathan Rebello from Derebail Porbandar Edward Pereira from Alangar Mudbidri Rachel De Souza from Katpadi Rian Fernandez from Kiray presently in Kuwait Wish you all a happy birthday God bless you Baptist and Irene Mascorenes from Attur Karkala Alex and Janet Dias from Goa Dominic and Lavina Mathias from Borivili Mumbai Peter and Annie De Souza from Kuwait are celebrating their wedding anniversary today. Congratulations dear friends. May God bless you and your family life. 
Ristun Fernandez from Sakleshpura, presently in Kuwait, celebrating his baptism day today. Congratulations, dear Ristun, and God bless you. And we pray for the departed soul of William Fernandez from Katipalla. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day and a weekend. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.